Assalamu alaikum, shalom, hotel, uh, power to my people uh, that scattered all on the four corners of this earth. Uh, this is your boy, Musa Azakar. Do me a favor, like the video, share it, and subscribe. This is a little red box right there with a bell on it. And every time you press it, you get a notification uh, of my videos whenever I drop one. So let's get right to it. Yo, man, um, I, I, I came up in an in a era uh, in the 80s. You know, uh, where you couldn't take, if you couldn't take no jokes, if you couldn't get used to getting joked on, and, and, and you go crying to your parents or whatnot, you was punk. You was punk. <laughs> and man, man, this, 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 this generation I'm seeing of our men today, it's, it's quite alarming. You have skinny jeans, you have them with the, and they voice and they wearing tight shirts and purses, pocketbooks, heels. I mean, it's just a lot going on, you know, with this generation. Man. And the, the, the James Evans figure that we had displayed on good times, which they had to kill James off, I believe to start the little softening of the black man, because that 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 strong figure that you can stand up on uh, as an illustration, we don't have that anymore. The closest we have that is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Real talk, and I want to thank God coming in the in the form of a man named Master Farad Muhammad, who, who who raised up one of the dead, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left us a messenger today in the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And you know, to some, to some people, that's their trinity, their Jesus figure. You know? And we need that type of guidance and that 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 push and drive from an individual like that today. Well, I got a little video that went down my timeline. You know, it was talking about the definition of a Muslim. What is a Muslim? We're about to see right here. And as we see, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan will make his point on what a Muslim is. As soon as I can get to it. How y'all doing on this day? Hey, luckily it's not burning up outside, but it will be shortly. We are entering the age. No, here. You the real Muslim. Here we go, right here. And I got this from Brother Ben's uh, Facebook page. Uh, it explains what a real Muslim is. It's not just getting on mats and doing all, you know what you see illustrated on TV. It's not about that. It's more action than that. So he's going to give a description on what a Muslim is. Now, I'm not computer uh, literate. I don't know how to screen share and all that. to have the fancy little images on the videos. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that uh, apprenticeship training later on uh, this evening. <laughs> but bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Bear with me. Here go the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. What is a Muslim? Because I can go. You the real Muslim. But President Clinton can watch your butt and your kings and your rulers bow down like little sissies. When our Muslim brothers who are white in Bosnia, women being raped, Muslim children being killed, and the Muslim world stands by like a group of faggots. Because the United Nations said you can't give weapons to your own brother to fight to defend his own land. You gonna tell me what a real Muslim is? What is a real Muslim? One who makes a lot? A damn devil could bow down. Jackass! Devils can prostrate. Devils can make sajda. That don't mean you're a Muslim because you pray like one. God damn it, it's going out, getting the people in the mud, and freeing the slaves, and lifting your people. And if you're not doing
and that don't talk to me about what a true Muslim is, you're nothing but a damn hypocrite. Bravo! 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 Beautiful, beautiful. And that is so the truth. And we have individuals out there like that just uh, play the role like they want to help people. But they're in it for the business. The business. The business. And I also have one more video. Uh, it's from his Savior's Day, 1997. And it's talking about well, I'll just paraphrase it, you know. Trying to be with God ain't, you know, uh, it's not an easy task. And trying to do the right thing ain't no easy task. And when you serving God or you're going after your higher self, the circle's going to be small. And it ain't, family ain't going to be with you. It is what it is on that. So we do need that strong figure to illustrate how the thinking of God, we can manifest ourselves. So check this out and let me know if you like this video. Let's rock and roll. We gotta look after the family. What the hell, what the hell are you talking about? My genetic makeup and not be of me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because genetics only give you physical characteristics and spiritual potential. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Each one of you is more than sperm and eggs. I can give you characteristics where you look like me. Boy, his head is shaped just like his father. What the hell is in his head? What is in his heart? Is it like his father? Hell no. Then if it's not like me on the inside, you don't belong to me from the outside. I say this to my children and my grandchildren. To hell with you all if you don't accept God and obey God and live for God. I don't give a damn about none of you. Wow, very powerful, very powerful. And that's, I mean, he's the last of the Mohicans, y'all. Last of the Mohicans. Real talk. So we need to take in what we can take in. Be a better person than you was yesterday. Be a better father. Be a better mother. A better guide. But anyway. This is your boy Musa Azakar. I hope you liked the video. Share it and subscribe or tell somebody to subscribe to it. My job is just to inspire and motivate. Peace and Bala Hayat Greece.